Today in our 2010 Mazda 6, we'll be installing the draw tight hitch, part number 24832. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is six and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 12 and a half inches. Now go ahead with installation. To gain easier access here on the passenger side, we're gonna go ahead and lower the exhaust. To safely lower the exhaust, we'll put a safety strap underneath first. Then we'll remove the two rubber isolators that hold the rear portion of the exhaust. One just behind the muffler and one just forward of the rear axle. To remove the rubber isolators, we'll spray each one with some spray lubricant and then use a pry bar or pliers to remove the rubber isolator from the metal hanger. Now with our rubber isolators removed, we'll go ahead and use a safety strap to safely lower the weight of the exhaust. We're gonna have a total of six attachment points. We have four pre-drilled holes, two in the rear portion of the frame, and forward of the frame, we'll be drilling out an access hole, which will also serve as an attachment point. We're gonna go ahead and get an extra set of hands, help hold the hitch up into position, so that we can use a paint marker to mark out the forward attachment hole. Now with the forward attachment holes marked out, we'll go ahead and bring the hitch back down and set it aside. And using a hole saw bit, cut out our large access hole and forward attachment point. Be careful to stay away from the edge of the frame as you do not want to drill into the edge. You want to stay into the flat bottom portion of the frame. Also keep in mind each process we do here on the driver's side will get repeated identically on the passenger side. With our access holes drilled out, we're ready to go ahead and start installing the hardware. For our frame attachment points, we'll be using the 7 16 carriage bolt and block in the frame and a 7 16 conical tooth washer, teeth of the washer facing the hitch, and a 7 16 nut to secure it. Starting with the rear attachment point, we'll take our pull wire, go through the attachment point and out the access hole. We'll slide on the block and thread on the carriage bolt. We'll feed the block and carriage bolt up into the frame and then pull them into position. We'll leave our pull wire attached as it will assist in getting our hitch up into position without pushing our hardware back up into the frame. Next, we'll go ahead and install the forward attachment hardware. We'll be using the reverse pull method where we'll slide the block onto the pull wire followed by threading on the carriage bolt. Then we'll feed the carriage bolt into the access hole first, followed by the block, then pull them both back over the access hole, creating our forward attachment point. We'll go ahead and repeat this same process for the opposite side. Now with our frame hardware in place, we're ready to go ahead and install the hitch. It's a good idea to get an extra hand to help you hold the hitch while you install the fasteners. As we put the hitch into position, we'll take the pull wire and feed it through the attachment points of the hitch and then bring it tight to the frame. Once we have it tight to the frame, we can go ahead and install our fasteners. Next, we'll install the vertical hardware. This will be the bolt and flat washer going through the body and then through the hitch and getting secured with a conical tooth washer and nut. We'll go ahead and repeat this same process for the opposite side. We'll go ahead and remove the pull wire from the rear frame fasteners and install the conical tooth washer and nut. Now with all the hardware installed, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Next, we'll torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. And with our hitch secured and torque specifications, we're ready to go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. And with that, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install 
of our draw tight hitch, part number 24832, on our 2010 Mazda 6.